Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Arpita Kumanapare and I'm glad you're watching this video. In this video, I'll be talking about 9 natural remedies for dandruff. Dandruff is more common than you may think as most of us have had it some point in our life. Dandruff is a result of the overproduction of dead skin, but it can also be caused by numerous other factors such as winter air that produces dry skin, a vitamin deficient diet and harsh chemicals found in unhealthy shampoos, even dandruff shampoos that are supposed to reduce the flakes. What is dandruff? Dandruff is a skin disorder affecting 50% of the world population and is linked with proliferation of lipophilic yeast of the genus Malazesia. Dandruff is the shedding of excessive amounts of dead skin flakes from the scalp. There also may be a bit of itching but typically no redness or scabbing. Dandruff usually gets worse during the fall and winter because of the dry air while improving in the summer. It is caused by buildup of dead skin and in many more severe cases, a yeast-like organism aggravates it. While this germ is normally present on everyone's scalp, it can produce some irritation if it grows heavily. When scaling of the scalp is accompanied by redness or when redness and flaking spreads to cause greasy scaling on the face, eyebrows or sides of the nose, it may be diagnosed as seborrheic dermatitis and related to severe dandruff conditions. Another form is a cradle cap that is another name for dandruff that typically affects infants. But no need to worry, it is completely harmless and usually clears up by the age 3. So let's know the symptoms and causes of dandruff. There are many causes of dandruff and some of them to include are dry skin. The most popular cause of dandruff in fact is dry skin. Usually symptoms and signs of dry skin on other parts of the body such as your legs and arms also will exist along with this. Oily skin or seborrheic dermatitis. Oily skin is one of the most frequent causes of dandruff. It is marked by red, greasy skin covered with flaky white or yellow scales. Also known as seborrheic dermatitis, it affects your scalp and other areas rich in oil glands like your eyebrows, sides of the neck, sides of the nose and back of the ears. So not shampooing enough can create oily skin. While it is important to not shampoo too frequently so that you can have healthier scalp and hair from the natural oils that your skin produces, if you don't regularly wash your hair, oils and skin cells from your scalp can actually build up and cause dandruff. So washing every two to three days is ideal in most cases. Another cause can be skin conditions. Those with eczema and psoriasis are often known to have dandruff since both of these conditions have characteristics of dry skin, oftentimes severe and very irritating. Yeast like fungus Malazesia. While Malazesia lives on the scalps of most adults, it may irritate the scalp. This irritation causes more skin cells to grow and when that happens, extra cells die and fall off, producing white flakiness in your hair, on your clothes. Even hair care products. Because most hair care products contain chemical ingredients, it can cause your scalp to become red, itchy and scaly. Shampooing too often or using too many styling products may also irritate your scalp and can cause dandruff. So here are 9 natural remedies to get rid of dandruff. Firstly, drink water. Often, the lack of enough water in your bodies causes dry skin. And this is one of the main reasons to drink water. It is very important to drink plenty of water daily to help your overall health as well as the dryness of your skin and scalp. Coconut oil. Because coconut oil contains medium chain fatty acids including lauric acid and capric acid, it has strong antiviral, antimicrobial and antifungal properties. These properties helps to target and kill the fungus or any virus or bacteria that may exist. In many, results can occur just within a week or so. Essential oils. These, um, there are essential oils that can really make a difference because some of these oils contain antiviral, antibacterial and antifungal properties 
like coconut oil. They can reduce inflammation and treat infections. So you will need to choose 100% pure oils such as lavender, wintergreen, thyme, lemongrass and tea tree, all of which help to fight fungus and yeast. Aloe vera gel. Benefit rich aloe vera has been known to soothe and help heal irritated skin. In a study, aloe showed itching and scaly skin in people with seborrheic dermatitis, a more severe skin condition that can create dandruff has been helpful. Olive oil. The olive oil in your kitchen can be very useful because it can temporarily remove dandruff flakes. Just apply a little bit of unrefined organic olive oil to the scaly patches on the scalp. Let it sit for about an hour. Then use a comb or brush to smooth out the hair. If you apply too much, you will look like having heavy uh, oily hair. So you, need, you may need shampoo. You can also add a few drops of essential oils and may benefit by including coconut oil in your diet. But make sure it is unrefined and organic. Relax. Skin irritation are often caused by depression, anxiety and stress. So try to pay attention to changes in your skin at these times and more importantly, try to avoid these feelings by implementing stress reduction behaviors and techniques. Try exercise, short walks or, or workouts, a massage therapy and diffusing oils like lavender. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is great for killing the fungus that cause dandruff. It is known to provide instant relief from itchiness and may be your answer for how to get rid of dandruff with just a few applications. So try combining equal parts of apple cider vinegar with water and massage onto the scalp. Let it sit for a few minutes and then rinse. So repeat for five to seven days and see if you notice a difference. If you experience any irritation, discontinue or use every other day for 7 to 10 days to see more improvement. Probiotics. It is common that what you're eating could be part of the problem. Try a good benefit loaded probiotic. Not only can it help reduce dandruff, but it can help boost your overall health providing beneficial bacteria for your gut. And finally, omega-3s. Omega-3 foods adding them into your diet such, um, such as uh, chia seeds and flax seeds they can help provide much needed hydration for your skin from within therefore it will reduce dandruff in addition to all this uh, deficiency in vitamins minerals and other nutrients found in omega-3 may increase the risk of getting dandruff so fish oil may work as a remedy for dry scalp for healthy skin and hair to combat dandruff Many commercial shampoos contain chemicals that are harmful and dandruff shampoos are even worse. And within shampoos and hair products, make sure you avoid parabens, sodium laurel or laurel sulfate. When choosing a shampoo for dandruff, try to consult a certified dermatologist to treat accordingly. So, to get rid of dandruff diet-wise, it's important to minimize your sugar intake and to avoid processed foods and processed cooking oils. I hope this information is helpful. Here is a scripture to meditate upon. May you be strengthened with all power according to His glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy. Colossians 1.11 Thank you so much for watching and sharing this video with your friends and family. I'll see you again in my next video.